All right, yo, what's up guys? You've got lighting here, back at you guys with another video. Uh, I want to make this short and sweet. <clears throat> this is just an update on the runes that everyone's been using with the Relia. Um, my first video was based around the resolve tree and uh, like domination for damage. I also talked about Glacial uh, Augment, which, uh, you know, is definitely not one of the better pages you, you, you want to be using. So now <clears throat> everyone's using this page here um, with Press the Attack, Triumph, uh, Legend Alacrity, which you can switch for Tenacity, and then Code Gras, right? Um, then the secondary, <clears throat> you want to be using um, Celer Celerity and Scorch. Now we'll talk about Celerity first, right? So at the moment, Celerity with Celerity, you gain 4% increased movement speed and add 8% of your bonus movement speed to your AP or AD adaptive. Now with Aurelia, uh, I don't know exactly how much move speed you end up with uh, level 1, but it's like considerably uh, quite a bit more than you know the average like the standard like yeah move speed and it's really effective like when you want to try and uh you know like run away to like dodge certain things like um like a rinsing Q or darius hook sort of thing you know like random stuff and especially versus range matchups to sort of get out of their range um after csing um once you have triforce i mean the movement speed like increases even more with the triforce movement speed as well so um it's it's just gives you that movement speed to sort of get around the map and 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 you know um work work your way around team fights and your enemy and all roam if you need to right so it's it's really good and also you get the extra ad on top of that so with triforce users i think are the best uh users for this or champions that have like move speed uh buffs like um like shivana for example like she has her w increases her move speed simple shit like that right so i think it's a really good rune and once i saw it being used um I can't remember who I saw use it first, but I know, I, I'm pretty sure it was discovered in, in Korea, they started using this rune page, um, and it's got quite a high win rate with, uh, you know, lots of different champions. Um, let's talk about Scorch next. So Scorch, your next ability sets the champions on fire, dealing 30 to 60 bonus magic damage based on level after one second. So cooldown is 20 seconds, but in lane, if you're able to use this sort of three times a minute, or every minute 10, you use this three times, right? That's, that's extra, extra you know, level one, um, that's an extra 90 damage, you know. Um, so it's it's pretty good just for trading in lane. Like, if we're talking specific to Aurelia, it's like, um, you know, your E auto is, is really good because um, your ability, you hit them with the E, hit them with auto, and they take the extra 30 um, magic damage on top of that. So that, that just boosts your trade up by that much. Just a nice quick trade. So matchups where you don't want to be uh, doing extended trades, uh, it's really good when you just want to get a quick... A quick trade in and then back off and over time in the first sort of um you know 20 minutes of the game scorch scorch will actually deal more damage than press the attack it's really good if you use it properly um you will be dealing more damage with scorch than press the attack um early in the game but later on you know press the attack will will out damage this by by quite a bit um so it's just something to think about but um I, i'm currently running this room page uh, against most of my matchups um <clears throat> The only ones I don't run it against would be like Pantheon, Teemo, uh, at this stage those are the only ones I can think of, but the other page, <clears throat> let's talk about the other page. So I'm still using the, uh, uh, this should be Press the Attack, Triumph, uh, Legend, Alacrity or Tenacity, and then Code of Gras, uh, with using the Resolve Tree as secondary. Now you have options here, like you can use Unflinching which gives you the extra tenacity for every summoner spell you have on cooldown. Or you can go with the Iron Skin or Mirror Shell uh, rune if you're in a hard matchup. Like this one, you'd verse, you'd take versus Pantheon, and then Mirror Shell, you'd take versus Satima, right? And then the second one here you want to be using is Second Wind. So after taking damage from an enemy champion, heal for 4% of your missing health, plus 6 over 10 seconds. So, you know, you're facing Pantheon Spears or Teemo Qs, Teemo Harass, like water attacks, whatever. Um, you know, Second Wind is really good, especially paired with uh, like Doran Shield. Because, um, you know, the Dawn Shield passive also has health regen upon, you know, uh, like, get taken damage. And this is a similar thing. So, I've played matchups versus things like, uh, like Heimerdinger, for example. I did a video on that not long ago. Uh, where, you know, I just barely take damage. I was, I was able to farm, you know, pretty well up until the point where, you know, I got items and I could actually fight them. It's really good for surviving lane. And um, in those hard matchups where you just need to survive and you outscale with your Triforce sort of thing. Uh, these are fine to take but in matchups like melee matchups where you're going to be trading um, you know I definitely uh, definitely recommend this page here um, 
the other option that people have been using is with the uh sorry not that uh <clears throat> i'll just switch this around so people you've been using domination with uh, like sudden impact ravenous hunter or sudden impact with uh ghost power or zombie ward i just i just feel like with this the sudden impact after after testing it like considerably um i i do like it but um i feel it's for more of a niche build like an assassin aurelia um with electrocute or something like that right well you could use it with press the attack but you don't get the uh lethality until you press q which is normally that last like on the tail end of your trade generally right so um that's why i've sort of gone off this uh i've mostly been using the resolve resolve tree and then the sorcery secondary tree uh basically you know 95 percent of my matchups so that's it guys i uh, just want to do a quick one it's been five minutes so um i'll leave you guys there if you've got any questions about runes or anything uh, just let me know um there's plenty of other, other oh, sorry plenty of other aurelia mains that are uh, also make videos and would, would have also made a rune video probably um they'll have a lot of answers for you as well so go check them out like aurelia carries you is a really good one if you guys have watching my channel and for some reason haven't seen his channel um definitely go check that out because he he actually did a video on this uh not long ago as well i thought i'd just make one just to update it so everyone is on the same page um as far as runes are concerned so guys i'll leave you there um if you've got any questions like i said just let me know and like subscribe if you want some more and i will definitely see you guys in the next video